Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today we're gonna to be talking about seven things that you're gonna to wanna to know about your toilet. Wait, did you just say toilet? Yes, we talk a lot about the toilet around here, but today it's all about the garbage disposal. Stick around because number seven really surprised me. Like I should have known better. So maybe you're in this boat too. Now I'm gonna be honest with you all. When I first got a garbage disposal in my home, I was like, this is the coolest thing ever. Like I can pulverize all kinds of amazing disgustingness down in there, but I don't love the garbage disposal. So let's dive into those things that we want to pay attention to. Fun fact, did you know that the garbage disposal was invented in 1927? I had no idea that it has been around that long and it was invented in Racine Wisconsin. I'm from Wisconsin. See, there's more than just cheese in Wisconsin. I mean, if you want to talk about cheese, we got every kind of cheese you could imagine around here. First things first, you know I like my bleach from time to time, but avoid putting bleach down in there. It can corrode the plumbing. Speaking of toilets, I often use this to declog my toilets. I have an entire video on that as well. But if you need to freshen up your garbage disposal or it is clogged, use a degreasing agent such as this. I let it sit for 15 minutes and then I like to flush it with hot water. Speaking of fats and oils, don't put this down there. Butter, nothing. Nothing that you would bake with. This is, no, no bueno. This can harden and stick to everything inside there, thus not allowing anything to go down. If you want to freshen everything up down there, because this does get stinky from time to time, these are my go-tos. Lemon, citric acid, which is basically pulverized lemons, or OxyClean. Yes, this is not only for sheets, blankets, and laundry. I love this for down in here. And in case you're wondering, this is chlorine free. This is basically a combination of hydrogen peroxide and washing soda. If you are a coffee fanatic like I am, do not, I repeat, do not put your coffee grounds down in your garbage disposal. And in fact, when I was in my corporate job and used to work in an office, the director would send out an email like every month, literally like every month, attention all corporate employees, please do not put coffee grounds down the sink. I have no idea why I look blue right now, but in fact, there was a sign above the sink that said no coffee grounds. Do you think that stopped people? No. Back in the fridge here of Andrew Jean Cleaning, what does she have in here? Eggshells. You all, these are gonna stick to your blades of the garbage disposal, so do not stick these down there as tempting as it can be because I know eggshells can get real stinky. And number seven, right now, I need to know, show of hands or something in that comments box below. Do you run your garbage disposal with hot water or cold water? I always thought you should run it with hot water. No. According to the experts, you actually wanna run cold water down your garbage disposal because it makes the fats clump together. Rather, if they get warm, they can stick to the sides of your plumbing in your garbage disposal, thus making things not go down there smoothly, causing clogs, disaster mess, water not draining, you get the point. So when I'm opting to freshen up or declog this thing, de-stink it, I actually run cold water first. I put my solution in there, whether it's borax, baking, soda, what I showed you here with the Oxy Clean. And then after that's been sitting for 15 minutes, I will go in with the hot water. And the list of what you can't put in your garbage disposal is long. No fats, no eggs, no rice, no noodles. I mean the list, no fibrous produce. So like the question becomes, what can you actually put down there? And because of that, I hardly ever use my garbage disposal for what it's intended for. I gotta know, what is your favorite garbage disposal hack? Or what's a situation that you've gotten yourself into when it comes to the garbage disposal. If you're interested, I have an entire kitchen hack cleaning playlist in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up so they can reach more people. Share this out to Facebook and Pinterest and sign up for the weekly newsletter, which is all things cleaning hacks, tips, and tricks. And I will see you, my friend, in the next one.